first tonight on the day yet another soldier is confirmed dead in Afghanistan. Lee Scott was 26 years old and with the 2nd Royal Tank Regiment. Corporal Lee Scott, described by his squadron leader as the perfect soldier and by his wife as the most loving, kindest person you could ever meet. He had, she said, a permanent cheeky grin. My husband, Corporal Lee Scott, was killed on the 10th of July 2009 in Afghanistan. Kai was five. Um, when Lee was killed and, and Brooke was only seven months old so my focus was on Kai. I know now from learning stuff I do at Scott is that actually even the youngest child can be affected by a bereavement um, but I think back then yeah my focus was Kai. I'm, when I told Kai like I knew I just completely shattered his world and the light just went out in his eyes and he had you know he had horrific nightmares, tantrums, um, just wasn't the same little Kai anymore. I think the fact that Lee put him to bed that night and then left for Afghanistan, I mean, I didn't even think about it for quite a while after, and then I realised that maybe all his sleep problems, not leaving my side, wanting to sleep in my bed, and then when you think about it, it makes complete sense, doesn't it? And I, I remember thinking from then, like, God, no one's been in touch about the children, like, no one's spoken to me about the children, and I'd, as time went on, I heard from, you know, Army Widows Association and different organisations, but again, I never, heard from an organisation about for Kai and Brooke and then I started to think you know how many other children have experienced the death of a parent who served our country and aren't getting the support they need. I spoke to my family, friends, I still can't even believe we did it you know never had any experience in charities before but I knew really clearly who we wanted to help and how we wanted to help and I was lucky that my family just yeah got on board. Yeah that's how it all started. So Scott is um, is a charity that is dedicated to support bereaved British Forces children. So if, if they've experienced the death of a parent who served for our country, and then we want to be able to help them. Um, and it's not just a one-off piece of support and then they go away, it's a membership. So that's what's quite unique about Scotties. They become a member of Scotties and we are there at different stages, different points of their lives throughout their childhood, right up until the age of 25. Just want to make sure that the guys and girls up there look down and know the country is supporting their children. That's what Lee would have wanted, that's what anyone would want. So I'm, I'm really proud. There's more we can do and there's so many more children that we need to reach. Um, but I'm really proud of, of the journey Scotties has been on. If you want to help Scotties to help more bereaved British Forces children and young people, then please play the Veterans Lottery. Your ticket can really change a life.